Anyone remember what day that was? John Adams never wants us to forget it. He said, let us remind ourselves every year with mass bands, bonfires, parades, illumination. No, 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 no. That's, that is what bothers Adams more than anything else. No, no, it was not, not the 4th of July. July 2nd. July 2nd is the true birthday of our, our nation. But with the success of the vote, it was not unanimous. Anyone remember which colony abstained? New York. New York. New York. I remember distinctly, Lewis Morris said he would have to ride back and receive further instructions from the New York Assembly. Now, never forget, he did take leave, but he returned two weeks later and voted in favor of independency. But we still had work to do. We still had to argue and debate and vote upon our Declaration of American Independence. And so on the 3rd of July, as we were beginning to assemble there in the old state house in Philadelphia, Edward Rutledge of South Carolina stood up and said, South Carolina moves that the ultimate result of the vote on independence in the declaration must be unanimous. He was seconded by Dr. Lyman Hall of Georgia. As they say at the races, we were off and running, arguing, debating, arguing, debating. The next morning, July the 4th, it looked like, indeed, it would succeed unanimously until Mr. Rutledge stood up again and said, South Carolina moves so long as one particular grievance remains in our declaration. We will not vote to make it unanimous. He was seconded by Dr. Lyman Hall of Georgia. I knew exactly what they were doing, politics as usual. I got up and walked out. 